Welcome to another Trimble Connect to Fab video. In this video, we will discuss Connect to Fab for prefabrication and fabrication professionals, and how Connect to Fab is used in order to fabricate and assemble spools. Once you have been granted access to the Trimble Connect project and have been notified spools are marked ready for fabrication, we're ready to open Connect to Fab and begin. We will first click on the Connect to Fab icon on the left hand panel and then we will go ahead and open up the filter. This is found underneath Connect to Fab at the top left of our panel. By clicking Show All, we have a drop down and will select only items ready for fabrication. This shows us the categories as well as all of the spools marked ready for fabrication. We'll take a quick look at Bathroom Group 2. We're ready to assemble the spool, and we notice when we come into the spool view, all of the dimensions are already there for us. We can turn these dimensions on and off by toggling the checkboxes. We can also enable dimensions of the overall height, width, and depth of the spool, as well as the piece numbers visually. The customizable schedules are also available with a click of a button. Each one of these provides the information you need in order to assemble this spool. By clicking the schedule, our data table loads up the correct information needed and our user interface selects and highlights the items. This means you know exactly what you need to pick up while you're walking around with a cart in order to get to the assembly table with the right accessories, straights, and fittings. In addition, Connectifab has the capability to export this data out to a CSV file, which can be used as input into various bending and cutting machines. The isolate feature under our spool objects is very handy in combination with our schedules. In this case, I've selected the pipe schedule, which highlights a different items all of the straights which are inside of this spool. Once I click the isolate button, you will notice all of the straights are isolated and redimensioned, so I have only the dimensions of each straight which I will be building today. This is useful in case I determine that I, one of my straights is incorrect. I can quickly and easily isolate these straights and identify the incorrect piece. In addition, we have an isolate run feature, which is extremely useful for spools which contain multiple runs. We will go ahead now and open one of those runs. In order to demonstrate the isolate run feature, we will zoom in and select one fitting on one of our runs. Then we will go ahead and click the isolate run button. This will bring us to only the run which we have selected the fitting for and auto dimension the run so that we may now assemble that quickly and easily. Once we've assembled that run, we simply click restore and come in and select a piece from another run which we would like to isolate. The spool view should provide all of the information needed to assemble this spool and once completed we can exit the spool view. Trimble Connect also provides a status capability so that we can mark spools as completed. We would simply enable the status and highlight the assembly selection for the given spool that we would like to mark as completed. Then by selecting that spool and clicking completed, that status will be shared with the rest of our organization. This concludes our video discussing Connect to Fab for prefabrication professionals and how Connect to Fab is used to fabricate and assemble spools. Thank you.